Hi everyone. Well, it has been uh, two years since I started this tank uh, to bring back my uh, sea monkeys. Uh, so this is the the same tank that I started on June 17, 2019. As you may have seen through my previous videos. Uh, this tank have gone through different roles. Right now is uh, the last instance of the gong receptacle number three. Uh, I will go into details in a different video, but uh, to summarize, uh, I took the gong. Uh, at that time, I had four tanks. I moved the gong for the other three tanks into this tank. Uh, with the idea of hatching all the eggs before I toss away all this gunk and it's taking a little uh, longer than I expected uh, this was on May 4th 2020 today is June 17 2021 and you might see and not see that you see some adults swimming around but they are only males they are only to confirm that uh, uh, the water still the tank is feasible for hatching eggs I have not added any source of new source of eggs since May 4 2020 and you, you might see some juveniles I will transfer those juveniles and uh, and this Sunday so at last looks like the rate rate of hatching eggs is is at last coming to an end i have been uh as of late uh, almost weekly an average of more than 15 juveniles so yeah there was a lot of eggs in there so but you can see the future video i will do with more details about it okay anyhow uh there is a lot of things that have spin off from this single tank of my interest and of course they had we had the lockdown blah 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 uh, so no way i can compress all of this on two years so i would do just a prelude and at some point i would do individual uh, videos uh related to common context whatever okay so for those that saw my my older videos i then got a another ocean tank and by mistake they sent me a uh traditional tank from big time toys uh we already made videos about those uh, i retired that other ocean uh, volcano tank but I repurposed the big tank toys traditional tank into cultivating uh, uh, bioluminescent dinoflagellates, and that also is in separate videos. And I will do separate video, and that is all I will say about this. Uh, eventually, I had this ocean volcano that turned out uh, that I tried to do a good sample of how long a individual uh, sea monkey could live. Uh, so I, what I was doing, I uh, had a first generation and then uh, after the first generation, any juveniles, I would transfer somewhere else so I could guarantee there were only first generation sea monkeys and they lasted uh, 34 weeks but the conditions were not optimal so uh, when they were down to i think two females and one male i retired them and i tried to create another uh, longevity tank based on the lessons learned and i repurposed this one to try to feed them only algae as you can see there is a huge layer because i found out that uh, uh, you won't lose algae and uh, no i, I will uh, leave that for another video but 
Uh, this has been almost one year with little food. The, the only thing I have been adding is from time to time this that uh, apparently helps also the algae grow when I noticed for a while that it's tired uh, growing. So, but that uh, I will go in a specific video separately at some point. Okay, so essentially now this tank is focused on without feeding uh, the the standard powder just trying to use algae as much as possible to keep this tank going and it has been going for one year okay then this is the second longevity tank that i set up uh, here is a water a tank water heater uh, it's keeping the tank in 83.7 I keep a bubble flow all the time for maximum uh, oxygen diffusion and this little stone I was trying experimenting to try to uh, set a nitrogen uh, cycle but uh, it had not been too successful so anyhow I will do a, a separate video also about this and time is running out so let me move to the other group uh this one this one i was planning to retire uh, but then i found that uh, i experimented on raising the salinity and also the first one that, that i tried to integrate bioluminescent dinoflagellates uh, with sea monkeys i found that actually i was hoping that the Dinoflagellates were big enough that they will not eat it, but nope, they love it. Uh, so uh, I found out that if I want to integrate them, I need to do a separate culture of the bioluminescent uh, dinoflagellates, and that uh, I will do a video separate about that because that is more complicated. So the point is that uh, I could not grow. Uh, the dinoflagellates together with the uh, branch shrimps because they will gobble up okay anyhow so then we have uh, these large guys they are doing great uh, we're not going into details uh, all the algae that is uh, how I put it okay I will mention in a moment why so much uh, different algae growing on the wall so uh, back here is uh, another dinoflagellates uh, yes there is a lot of green algae that is another story uh, and uh, oh yes dinoflagellates all oh, those guys over there that spin off late on i think february 2020 that is when I started uh, handling uh, bioluminescent dinoflagellates. Uh, that is a type of algae. Uh, so that's why it gets related here. And I have done videos about that and time is, run, is run, uh, counting down. So let me see. Okay. This guy, I got an ask uh, about... Uh, how to get this tank, this is from Aquadragons, a uh, friend's tank, and how efficient was the, the uh, integrated pump. It works. I have been using it almost daily, as you can see. The only thing is that it's weird because uh, you need to pump like two or three times before it start pushing bubbles up. So, but I think I have been doing this almost daily for three months and it's working fine and why so much again lot algae that is another story uh but i will explain a separate video so bottom line and also i learned a hard way about uh, aqua dragon's food and uh, cutting off uh airstone uh, right away my uh, the aqua dragons colony after being great for a month uh, it crashed uh, so it took me some time to uh, restore the environment 
And actually what you see in here is that I took three weeks and I transferred juveniles from here to here. So right now what is are in here are uh, sea monkeys uh, uh, from this tank. Uh, so, but I will comment that in that. Okay, what else do I have? Okay, last stage. You might have heard about a uh, Brainy, briny shrimps. Uh, let me see if you can see it. Uh, so, uh, without going to details, uh, for a while I have been hearing about feeding live algae to brine shrimps. These are actually no Artemia salina or Artemia neos. These are Artemia franciscana. Uh, again, I will do a separate video, but the point is that because of that, I learned to cultivate algae. Also, eventually I found that uh, the flash version, also there is a bigger back version that I'm trying right now. I don't think you can see it right now, but there is a lot of babies in there. But again, I will do a separate uh, a video about that. Uh, so the reason that I have uh, like a strange type of algae growing here is because of this. From the same company that I got the uh, brainy brainy shrimps, I got this. Meanwhile, I learned to uh, uh, grow the nanochloropsis, that is the green algae that you see here. Also. Uh, I got this that because I sure that I will need uh, more of this by experience. But again, I will do a separate video about that. But so you know why there are other types of algae growing in multiple is because I added this filter feeder uh, formula. Uh, meanwhile, I tried that. That's why this one is very green. That is only nanocladopsis. But before, I had to add the fit formula, so it has these uh, colors onto it. So anyhow, uh, it sounds confusing, it is, uh, but I uh, will make a separate video when the time comes. Okay, so anyhow, I wanted to say, uh, I use this that has these four types of algae. So meanwhile, I got uh, familiar with it, and uh, so... That's why uh, you see this type of algae. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, there's so many details in the last two years, and that's why I have a huge mess of all these tanks. Uh, so hopefully I will uh, clean better the tanks of when I do their individual uh, videos, but I uh, just wanted to do a prelude on where I'm standing after having brought back my sea monkeys since June 17, 2019. Okay, sorry for the messy video, but I also wanted to share something because it would take time to uh, make videos individually for uh, context of uh, the things I have been doing in the last two years. Anyhow. Uh, hope everyone is healthy and staying safe. Remember to get your vaccination uh, so we can reach the uh, herd immunity because induced because of the vaccination and hopefully we will have the new normal from now on. Okay, so whenever is the next video, see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.